Okay, in this video I want to show uh, what you get when you get the S&T Geotronics Enigma Mark IV uh, replica, a replica of the original Enigma. Uh, first of all, the various accoutrements that come with the product are a uh, nice little velour case to hold your, uh, your wooden case in in the Enigma itself. You get ten uh, of the plugboard cables that go into the front of the plugboard. Uh, they're for they're for show only. The, the plug board is actually done via software, but this is a nice touch to show how it was done on the real thing. You get a, a USB cable that you can connect to your PC to download software. If there are updates to the software, you can plug that into the to the Enigma replica and you can update your software from your PC. You get a charging cable, which is very easy to use. You get a, a, a little manual, a little quick reference guide that tells you how to use the device. And of course you get the Enigma itself, uh, the replica, and it's a very nice, well-constructed wooden box. Uh, as you can see, it has a nice leather handle, it's built very well. Uh, what it looks like inside is that uh, the Enigma uses, the replica uses electronics instead of the physical rotors that the original Enigma used, uh, so it's, uh, it's very efficient. Uh, on the front of the device, you can see the uh, plug board where you plug in the little cables that we have here. You plug those in to, uh, to, to simulate what their original unit would do. Uh, the unit comes out of the box like this and you can operate it. Uh, you know, you don't have to keep it in the box if you don't want to. You can operate it outside the box. Uh, this is what the unit looks like. It's very well made. This is the little uh, hole for putting the cable in there to update the software from your PC if you need to do that ever. And uh, this is the bottom of the unit. It's, uh, it's based on our Arduino processor. Uh, which I don't know too much about, but uh, uh, it seems to work very effectively, the battery supply and so on. So this is the board, and the unit fits back in the box, and, uh, and that's how it works. Up here is a little uh, uh, Enigma placard and a little mark blot, which basically says to, uh, uh, I think I've looked at the English translation of this from the German, and it basically says if you're operating this and you want to be compatible with the uh, old three rotor units, the M3 versions, uh, you need to keep your leftmost rotor set on the A uh, external external uh, setting in order to do that. I think that's what that says. So, very well built unit. Uh, I'm very happy with the quality of it. Works very well. And in another video, I'll show you how you actually uh, encrypt and decrypt messages.